I haven't made a video in what feels like forever. Well, actually, I did make one, but I didn't upload it because my old camera just was, well, it was a newer camera, but it was just glitching like crazy, and I Googled it, and it said that most computers have trouble recording in HD. So I've got this other little camera. It's not an HD camera, so hopefully they're not, there's not going to be any glitches and glitches. I hate glitches. So I'm making pink grapefruit soap today, cold process. My oils today are hazelnut, olive, coconut oil, castor oil, and some lard. And my lye solution has sugar in it and sodium lactate and tussa silk. So it's going to be purdy. This smell is the best. It really is. I'm soaping uh, just under 100 degrees. I'm hoping to retain some fluidity. So I'm just straining this because sometimes I get pieces of silk that haven't dissolved and that's never nice and sugar too I put in sugar too late when it wasn't hot and it turns into one big hard clump so yeah better to strain so and I'm using a new stick blender too because my other one the cap on the bottom cracked I'm not overly fond of this one because I have to tilt pretty far up. And I splashed myself like crazy the first time I used it. Okay, I'm just gonna stick blend this. To light trace. And I'm gonna try not to get a million air bubbles in it, which it feels like that's what I'm doing. I'm going for light trace not only because of the pattern I want to do but also because I I haven't used the pink grapefruit fragrance in a soap in over a year I've used it in my bath bombs shower steamers because it's just so juicy and good but now it's time to make more of this soap and I can't remember if it accelerates trace or not so we'll find out <laughs> Stop it. Ah. One thing I've never had yet is false trace. And I think I always, I always want to go for a light trace, but I always tend to go a little further than that because I'm always worried about getting false trace. So I'll give it one more quick pulse. Looks like a light trace. Stir it by hand a little bit. And I'm going to make this one pink and cream. And I'm going to do a drop swirl, which of course I always forget something. Forgot to grab my other container. I'm going to have to need a teeny tiny container because this is only a 28 ounce batch. These new uh, Crafters Choice tall and skinny molds, I thought they were 32 ounces. But it turns out they're 28. So readjusted everything. But it's tiny. It's hard to work in that little thing. But Anastasia, thank you for the idea on how to design this soap. Because I was, eh, I don't know, running out of ideas. I don't want to be too fancy. But I don't want to be boring either. Okay. See, now normally I would stick blend again now. See, and I have to. I just have to. <laughs> ah, some things never change. Okay, enough of that now. So, let's do this. Because I have to add clay. I'm adding some white kale and clay as an additive and I'll add my fragrance right away 
or maybe I'll split it in half and then add my fragrance. Hmm. Who knows? We'll see. The only thing, like this new one, I don't like that it doesn't have the guard on the bottom. And what I also don't like is that because of that, it's super tippy. And you've seen my videos before. I'm always almost knocking over my stupid stick blender. And this one's extra tippy because it's so tall. It does have one advantage though over my old one. The, the handle screws out so I don't have to be so careful when I wash it. Okay, there's my clay. And should I add my fragrance now? Yeah. I'd rather do it that way and that way I know that there's an equal amount of fragrance go across the board. Instead of going, oops, too much in the pink and not enough in the cream and thanks to my friend Anastasia again much soda ash that I just went you know what I'm just gonna start gelling my soaps but I do love my titanium dioxide which means when I gel them, I'm getting glycerin rivers. Another thing that I can't stand. But I can stand it more than I can stand thick ash. Because we're not talking just a little bit of ash. That's not a big deal. We're talking caked ash. Just ugh, enough to tick you off. Hang on. I'm just grabbing a container. Let's just use this one and hope that I can gauge close enough to half and half. Okay, I'm stirring this in because I want it to stay fluid. I'm going to use a chopstick instead of a hanger swirl. When I was doing my hanger, like I made my Mystic Woods. I don't know if you saw that video. I was in love. In love with how it turned out. It looked like there was actual leaves. And I was like thrilled with it. I tried three times to duplicate that. Do you think that I could? No, I could not duplicate it. So I want to do something that I can duplicate because I know this soap will sell well. It's a gorgeous citrus and this is Candora's pink grapefruit. And it is so fresh and good that I will never run out of this. I will never run out. As soon as I get down to six ounces, I'm going to order more in case, you know, they might be out of stock or something because I'm not even going to try anybody else's pain. You know what? Okay, I am adding some titanium dioxide. And to lighten it up, I'm trying this Silk Sericite Mica, which I accidentally ordered three ounce, three one ounce jars of. I don't know how I made that mistake. That was like two years ago and I haven't used it. So I'm going to see if that will maybe lighten this up without having to add too much titanium dioxide and therefore skip the whole glycerin river disappointment because I am so disappointed every time it happens. Every single time. And a lot of people say, oh, I love you know, people love glycerin rivers. A lot of people do. They think it looks really cool. But when I'm going for a creamy, solid color, nothing's going to make me crazier faster than glycerin rivers. So, here we go. Just a quick stick blend here. Oh, oh I'm getting air in here. good enough so yeah I've been making a lot of soap I just haven't been making any videos that camera was making me so mad I'd be in the middle of saying something and it would just glitch and you wouldn't Ugh. I just I hate glitches okay don't you fall over or I'm gonna get mad 
Okay, so that's sort of light. We'll see what happens. So I kind of want to go half and half here, I think. Uh, that's close enough, I think. Yeah, good enough. And I'm going to try to do this one, the light one. So here's the silk. Silk Sericite Mica. You can see it's it's kind of gray. It's not white. And when I Googled it, it turns out that this is something that they use in makeup, especially eyeshadow. So I don't know. We'll see what it looks like as soon as I mix this up here. And if it doesn't work, well, I have to stick with my titanium dioxide and let myself get all grouchy that it's got glycerin rivers because it will have them. Out of all the soaps I've made lately, every single one that I've added titanium dioxide to has ended up with rivers. See, did nothing. Oh, you suck. Okay, well, I'm going to add my pink here. And I don't think it matters that there's a little bit of silver on there. And I don't want this to be super, super pink. And I dispersed my oils. I'm going to add a bit at a time, just to be sure, with hazelnut oil. Not sure if I said that already. And not batch oil, just separate. Separate. And I weighed them, so I do know how much is in there don't need much oh and I did buy myself finally a tiny mint you know those little mini blenders for colorants that you see all the time on YouTube awesome the best $12 I ever spent that little mixer is I got it through Candora it's a tough little mixer and works like a charm I have no specs of color yet that is very close to grapefruit colored. I don't know. Yeah, you can see it. I really hope this camera works, guys. Really hope it works. Okay, that's grapefruity. Very soft. I want a soft, soft pink for this. I don't want it to be bold. But because I want contrast, of course, I have to have. Silk Sericite Mica doesn't look any different. So it's going to have to go on the ingredient label, even though it doesn't show. It doesn't show, doesn't look like anything. And I pulled out my glitter because I haven't used glitter on any of my new soaps because I'm, I've condensed my line. I've picked my best and favorite recipes and I'm rebranding. So all these soaps that I'm making, some might have fragrances that I used before, but they're they're new. The design is going to be permanent. Well, okay, I say permanent, but I can't be trusted in that department. Anyone who knows me knows that. You know, change is good sometimes. I just don't like unexpected change. That's where I run into problems. Sorry if I'm in the shadows here. You know what? Hang on. <gasps> Don't. It just. So, okay, I don't know if moving that lamp helped or made it worse. Let's see, let me turn it off. You know what, that's even better. What am I thinking? It's dark to me, but on camera, you can see it a lot better. Like you can see that that is like that nice pink grapefruity color I'm going for. And this, it looks white on camera, but it's still a little, let me turn my light on. Eh. No, I'm not happy with it. It's too creamy still. I want creamy, but I, I want a little bit more white. Like I do want a cream color and it is not showing up that well because if I look at the camera, it looks white, but it's not, it's, it's deceiving. 
now I feel like I'm working in the dark. I don't want to add too much. I'm usually so generous with my titanium dioxide. Not anymore. No. This one I'm going to have to stick blend. <laughs> That's what I'm going for. Oh, that's so funny. On camera, that looks so bright white. But to me, see, still looks bright white on camera. It's creamy. Looks creamy. So hip hip hooray. We've got it. So I'm going to do a drop swirl. And then I'm going to take a chopstick and swish it through. Because that I can duplicate. <laughs> And that's what I want to be able to do. Okay, now you just stay put and mind your business. <gasps> Shit! I mean, shoot! Oh no! Okay, towels. Sorry guys, I need towels. Like right now. Thank goodness my computer. Okay, this thing's taking me off. Push this way over here. Oh, I just totally spilled water everywhere and under a prepaid box that I had sitting up here that the lamp is sitting on. Oh, see what happens? You don't make a video for a long time. You make all kinds of soap, make a video, and pff, this is what happens. Okay, um, this is my big sheet that I had my camera sitting on, or my microphone, so that it didn't sound too loud. Look at this mess. I tell you, just when I think I've got everything organized and ready to go. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Okay, I got you guys. You guys can go in there. My chopstick. I need to leave my chopstick out because I'll forget about it. That's just the way I am. Oh, can you believe this? I can. Oh, I'm pissed off though. So oh, sorry. <laughs> but I am. And now look at this. I have this. <laughs> I was using it for my lamp. It's a uh, prepaid box, a medium sized prepaid box full of soap. There's like almost five kilograms of soap in there. But I'm supposed to ship to Alberta. And now the box is wrecked. Ooh, mama's not happy. Okay, now where can I put this? Oh, I'll put this on the table there. Thank goodness. It's one of those old tables with that kind of plastic. What's that stuff called? I always forget what it's called. Who cares? Okay. Oh. And that can go there. Okay, we're back in business. Sorry about that, guys. Da -da -da. Okay. So let's just start with our drop swirl here. Actually, I'll move it closer, even closer, so that you can see what's better. Oh, how about that? Okay, so I'm gonna start with white. And I have to keep doing this because I noticed it just seems to wanna cling to the sides and then it doesn't wanna pour nice, so pink more white curious to see how this turns out I think it'll look really pretty a drop swirl on its own is pretty but a drop swirl with a hanger through it or a chopstick through it is going to be even prettier okay that was a lot of white I felt that just go bloop See, my cloth is sopping wet now. So I've decided I'm not going to HP, I'm not going to hot process any more soaps except for my facial bar. And the reason for that is, well, first of all, I don't love hot processing. Don't love it. And the facial bar, there's just so many 
wonderful additives in it that if I end up cold processing it, I'm going to lose all those beautiful ingredients. Like they're going to get lost in the saponification. So at least with hot process, I can add it after the cook and I know that all the goody yummy bits are in there. They haven't been killed. I don't want them to die. I really like that pink. I really do. Because the last batch I made was, it was a custom order. And then the customer all of a sudden <laughs> said I can't afford it. So I've been using it. But this was the pink I achieved with it. And I really liked it. I thought it was so pretty. And I should have exactly enough here. To come right to the top. Because I haven't been doing textured tops either. I've been making the top extremely level. I do need my cloth. Hang on. Might be sopping wet, but I need it. What did I just add? I think I added white. Doesn't matter. But yeah, the textured top thing. Mm, I was never that much good at it anyway. Because I would always fuss with it too much. As you may have seen in my previous videos. Where I go, okay, that's perfect. And then I would play with it for another 37 seconds. So now... I'm trying to make them just all nice, flat, and perfect. But I do want to use glitter because I don't use it often. None of my new soaps have glitter on them. This one strikes me as a... I want glitter. I can hear it. It's, that's what it's saying to me. I want glitter. So, glitter it will be. Okay. And I think I'll need this. Sorry for reaching in front of you like that. And if I have a little too much in here, then I, I'm not putting it in because I don't want a tall textured top. I just don't. But I have the fluidity that I wanted. I wanted fluidity with this one. The other recipe that I've been using has mango butter and cocoa butter in it. And that one, it doesn't matter if you're soaping at room temperature, even with full water with no discount. Oh, you know, I'm awfully close to done here. It's bowing out. That's another thing I don't like about this new tall and skinny mold, is that the sides <clears throat> aren't very strong. They're just not. And it bows out. I don't think there's any air in there. I'm not even going to sweat it. A little bit more pink because it's not quite level. And there we go. We are level. Come on. Well, oh, I'm completely blocking your view here. I cannot believe I spilt that water everywhere. I thought that jug full of water would help would help uh, keep my stick blender from tipping over. And as you can see, it did not. It did not. Okay, I wanna bang it a little bit. You can hear there's still water underneath. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my chopstick and I'm gonna go down to the bottom and I'm just gonna go Then I'm going to turn around and do it. I'm going to turn it around and do the same thing. Because you can never get that in quite as nice, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Up. Up and over an alley oop. Getting soap everywhere. And look at my bench. I have just beat the crap out of my bench lately. I just. <laughs> and making well you know who the culprit is it's my cocoa butter my cocoa butter uh, I get like a few small pieces in my 6.6 .6 pound bag but it's usually like two 
two giant chunks. And any of you who work with cocoa butter know that cocoa butter is like a brick. So you have to take your knife and go, okay, and hammer it down. Okay, I'm not, well, am I? See, right away, am I fussing with it some more? No, I'm good, and then I don't stop. See, I'm gonna go this way now because I was crazy like that. And now I promise I'm done. I promise. And where's my glitter? And here's my, I haven't used this in so long. I just think it needs it though. This soap deserves a little glitter. Come on, stay in place. Not a ton, just a little bit. I actually, you know, there were a few soaps I made where I went a little crazy on the glitter and then when it was all said and done, I just wasn't, it was too much. Like there was just too much glitter. And when I first got glitter, I said, there's no such thing as too much glitter. Yes, there is such a thing as too much glitter. So there is my pink grapefruit soap. I have no idea what I'm gonna call it. We'll see how it looks when she's all finished and done. And I'll be making another video soon. I don't have, um the video editor so I will upload the cutting video and I have to make a dragon's blood soap so I'll probably do do that tonight maybe maybe tomorrow probably tonight and I'll do a video of that one too because I want to get back on track with my videos they're fun to make I get to talk to you the whole time you get to see that look hey somebody out there is like way clumsier than I am and yeah so I'm going to insulate this puppy and I'm going to try to prop up the sides with some cloth because that bowing out is just kills me. But anyway, it's so nice to be back. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and I'll see you for the cutting of this video. Thanks for joining me.